Welcome to the Whistler Excellence Awards. My name is Melissa Pache. I am the CEO of the Whistler Chamber of Commerce. And I can't tell you how excited we are as a chamber and our members to finally get to a point where we can celebrate our community. I'd like to first acknowledge that we are having this incredible celebration on the unceded traditional territories of the Squamish Lillooet Nation. We honor their language, culture, land, and traditions. On behalf of the Whistler Chamber of Commerce, in partnership with Community Foundation of Whistler, Arts Whistler, AWARE, and our valued presenting partner, Blue Shore Financial, we welcome you to the virtual Whistler Excellence Awards celebration. Times have changed over the past few months, and tonight we're truly honored to celebrate our amazing community. Prior to the pandemic, we were on our way to hosting our event as usual in person at the beautiful Fairmont Chateau Whistler. With the changes happening in the world, we instead created the virtual celebration to recognize our finalists' achievement over the past year. This event was made possible with the help of our partners, Whistler Excellence Awards Committee, and of course our members. Thank you all for the effort leading up to this event and throughout the year. The presentation you will experience tonight has been filmed, edited, and created by Reactive Design. They are the dream team of creative designers, videographers, storyboarders, photographers, script writers, and of course, if you're living in Whistler, they're definitely outdoor enthusiasts. Thank you so much for all your contribution to the 2020 Whistler Excellence Awards. Without further ado, please help me in welcoming our longtime presenting partner, Blue Shore Financial. Hi, I'm Rob Spicer, the business advisor here at the Whistler branch of Blue Shore Financial. Blue Shore has been a passionate supporter of business in Whistler ever since we arrived here to a very small village over 30 years ago as the first full-time financial institution. And we've been delighted to be part of recognizing you as a sponsor at the Whistler Excellent Awards for many of those years. Of course, recognizing excellence right now is more important than ever. It helps bring us together, support each other, and it gives us a chance to feel good and proud of our accomplishments. Accomplishments that are even more notable and worth celebrating given the challenges that we've all faced over the last six months. I'm personally very pleased to be participating in these awards. I've been with Blue Shore for almost 10 years and have had the privilege of getting to know you, many of you, and your businesses thrive during that period. So on behalf of Blue Shore, I am, would like to extend our sincere congratulations to all the finalists and of course the winners. You are all amazing. Welcome to the Whistler Excellence Awards. It's an honor to host today. My name is Heather Paul. And oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, <sighs> face jail over. <sighs> sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't hear me. Welcome to the Whistler Excellence Awards virtual tour. I'm on the Talayo Quiot traditional territories in Tofino on vacation after quite a few hectic months that we've all experienced. And I think I'm in the traditional territory of every Whistlerite vacationing this year. And I wanna give thanks to Tofino for hosting us as a resort municipality and making just a beautiful experience. We're staying safe, we're staying close to home. We're only gonna be on the beaches and in our vacation home. We're gonna avoid all the crowds and really try to be responsible travelers. I'd also like to recognize that the Whistler Excellence Awards take place on the shared traditional territories unseated of the Squamish and Leelwatt people and nations. I'm grateful and honor their culture and I'm grateful for them for sharing this land with us. The Whistler Excellence Awards is giving away nine awards tonight. Nine people are walking away with a good night's sleep. But I'm sure there's an award in the mail somewhere for them. But this is a virtual event, so don't forget to text your friends and tell them to join in the fun. High five and text and send messages to all the winners. Be a loud clap in any way you can. I know it's virtual, but whatever we can do to congratulate these businesses. And of course, shop local every time you get. Every chance you have. Be safe, be kind, and just be there for one another. And I love seeing that Whistler's doing that every chance they get. I am so happy to be a Whistlerite. My name's Heather Paul, and I'm going to be hosting tonight or today, or whatever time you watch this. Thank you so much for the Whistler Chamber and for really making this happen. It was a 
very tough call to cancel the Whistler Excellence Awards, but it happened so close into COVID and it was a very responsible decision and I want to thank them for that. And it will be a while before we can gather together, but don't forget to find your bubble friend and shake their hand and give them a hug and just love the heck out of your people that you actually are honored to be surrounded by right now. We're giving away, like I said, nine awards. The first one is going to be the Rising Star Awards. I need to recognize the fact that Blue Shore Financial would be absolutely honored tonight because we couldn't have the Whistler Excellence Awards every year without their support. We're gonna go on and kick it off to the Rising Star Award and I'm gonna take it away to the next presenter. Good luck all the nominees. Hi, I'm Ginny Kellen. I'm the CAO at the RMOW, and we are the proud sponsor of this year's Rising Star Award. So Whistler's vision is to be a place where the community thrives, nature is protected, and guests are inspired. And it's important to recognize those individuals in the community that are really bringing this vision to life. And there are many, many young uh, individuals and businesses that are really fundamental to making Whistler the place that it is to live and visit. The list of nominees is truly a reflection of the young, energetic talent that we have in the community. So the finalists are... Well, I simply followed my heart. My heart led me to snowboarding, my snowboarding led me to Whistler, and then my passion and my heart led me to helping this community. I've always been passionate about community and I've always wanted to be a part of a workplace that um, really aligns with my values and contributes to the community in a positive way. Uh, I spent a lifetime uh, in survival mode and I really didn't realize that survival is, and stability is self-made and one time I just decided to go out on my own and do it for myself and instead of working for another company I really wanted to work for myself. increasing the diversity and inclusion within Whistler. The sport of skiing and snowboarding isn't very diverse and I'm here to change that. I see more Indigenous people coming to Whistler and feeling home here, more people working here, more people enjoying the mountain because this is their traditional territory and they should be here to play. Hey guys, Court and Shiva here. Uh, from the Indigenous Life Sport Academy and Vail Resorts. We are both super stoked to even be nominated for this award again. It's been, I guess it's three years in a row now. Um, it was never really about winning the award. It was always about the exposure for our programs for the youth. Um, without our community and the support of all you beautiful people who are watching today, um, our nonprofit wouldn't be what it is today. And without the support of Vail Resorts, uh, personally in my career, uh, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. So I've got a lot of people to thank. Really, if I start rhyming them off right now, I, I really fear that I will miss some, some important people. Um, just know that you all mean very much to me. And remember um, to always let the kids play. Have a good have a good night, thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Mark Dion from Reactive Design. I'm sorry that my better half couldn't be here. Stacy Bondrack, the other creative powerhouse of Reactive Design in Artography 27. We're so honored to be presenting the Small Business Award uh, for you today. It's an award that I think we can relate to in terms of the grind and freedom that comes with running a small business. We certainly want to recognize and celebrate all the incredible finalists. Um, a reminder to support your local small businesses because certainly in times like this, it is important. Thank you so much to the Chamber of Commerce for doing such an amazing job at getting us in an event. Um, not in person, but digital. That's just the way it has to be. We love when small businesses work so hard at maintaining their smallness because that's the human to human, the intimate approach and something that we certainly want to recognize and celebrate. Here are your finalists. Do you think they're gonna believe I was actually supping? Okay, the power video.
<laughs> awesome. The best decision we've made is to actually follow Felix's passion for power sports. Yeah, and then also there was a, a pretty big need for, uh, for power sports in this town. Um, the closest dealer was in Squamish and Pemberton. You know, three years ago, uh, almost to the day, uh, my partner Brett and I took the jump to invest in Whistler and start our business here. We built Forge with our hands and I'm so glad we did. We decided that we need to understand people's personal sense of adventure is, is crucial. Whether that adventure is a little hike around Lost Lake, taking photographs of, of, of flowers and squirrels or whatever it is, or whether it's going to the base camp of Everest or, or climbing Everest or some other Himalayan peak. Understanding that the excitement people have over their sense of personal adventure is very real. Well, fortunately, we have been extremely busy even though uh, this COVID is happening. And then also, we have a really, really good team. We're fully crewed up at the moment um, and fall is looking great. I see Revolution being the main local power sports shop in Whistler or City Sky and keep just giving the great service that we've been doing for the last 10 years and just being even more successful. Thank you so much, everybody. We are so grateful about this. It is right on to our 10th year anniversary that we've been celebrating this year. Thanks for the community. Thanks for the customer that has been supporting us for all those years. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Super stoked. Thank you, Whistler. Thank you to our crew. Um, thank you to our customer. Thank you to uh, my partner here. <laughs> Thanks everyone, super happy of, uh, of this and we are very much looking forward to be uh, serving you guys for many years to come uh, with the same good service we have been given all of you guys. Thank you Thank so much, you. awesome. The piece I'm, I'm working on represents three generations, represented, say, by pine cones, mature trees, uh, baby trees, and everything in between. It also represents a past, present, and future, and like the time spent in the mountains, uh, the seasons changing, that kind of thing. It represents um, the community, generations that are here, everybody that makes Whistler what it is. So the little kids that are in ski school, teenagers that are working the lifts, the delivering pizzas, the elderly people that are here, um, everybody that makes Whistler great and makes it a thriving community. two winners, Rising Star and Small Business Whistler Excellence. Thank you and for your great service and all the businesses and nominees that were out there today. Thank you Woo! to the winners. I hope you're having fun. Seven more awards to go, which means seven more sips, drinks, bottles, sips. Seven more sips. Congratulations. Let's keep it on. Over the last five months, we've all been reminded of the power of partnership. The Whistler Chamber is a partner in our community, elevating, listening, and learning to local businesses, taking their ideas, challenges, and opportunities forward, and advocating on our behalf. Each year, we're thrilled to sponsor 
the Large Business Award in the Whistler Chamber Excellence Awards. And this year is no different, but we also want to thank every single business in our local community for changing and pivoting in these unprecedented times. On behalf of Whistler Blackcomb, I want to thank you for following our safety protocols and for joining us to be vigilant for the winter ahead. Thank you so much to all of our local businesses and the finalists are. Well, that would have been uh, back in the mid 90s when we were just kids and we decided to uh, make Whistler our forever home. And this year we're celebrating our 24th birthday. Yes, we are. At the Adventure Group, we always read our guest reviews and ensure we are responding to feedback so that we can continue to take action to exceed our guest expectations in how we sell and execute our tours. So around 2012, we decided we wanted to better improve our service culture and remove any barriers to achieve that. So basically just less of this and more of this. So as a result of community feedback, we've had some small but mighty space changes and we're busier than we've ever been before. Yeah, we're just really excited to be a positive part of anybody's Whistler experience. Okay, years 2021, teleportation, lasers, AI. So you mean like a makerspace with a creation station, a recording studio and a green screen? That's also cool. Uh, Elizabeth Tracy, director of the Whistler Public Library here. Um, this is so exciting. Um, best service in large business. This is a true honor, especially considering we're in the company of such outstanding businesses as our co-nominees. We're fortunate at the library to have a team of bright, compassionate, and creative people who thrive on the opportunity to make someone's day. Of course, we couldn't accomplish this without the support of our board, the municipality, volunteers, and the patrons, of course, who truly believe that the library is a compelling and wonderful part of the Whistler community. We made a lot of changes in the last few years and I could talk about that, but instead, since I have a captive audience, I'd like to say, if you haven't already, please take a minute to think about your relationship with your library. I hope you'll imagine the possibility of a place where dynamic learning can happen, where Whistler can grow as a community and cultivate economic vitality through the sharing of ideas, technology, expertise, and knowledge. Thank you so much to the chamber and everyone for this recognition. Whistler Real Estate is very proud to once again present the Whistler Excellence Award for the Champion of the Arts here in Whistler. As a company, we believe that art, in all its variations, from concept to creation to presentation, is an important part of the human experience and an important part of the Whistler experience. Art's ability to transport us to another place, make us think, or simply distract us from our everyday challenges by presenting the artist's interpretations, perspective, and stories about the experiences we all share is an important part of understanding who we all are. During difficult times like we are currently experiencing, art in any form contributes to our sense of wellness by making us smile or think of things differently. It provides peace of mind, lets us know that we share and feel the same things, or simply distracts us from our day-to-day -day routine. It's been a tough year for our arts community with a significant loss of the ability to present their skills and entertain with their stories and visions. Now, more than ever, it is important that we all support our musicians, artists, writers, potters, crafters, performers, and all the others who are part of our vibrant arts community. This fall, our local artistic community will be showcased by Arts Whistler with several events including the Anonymous Arts Show and Here and Now, a celebration of local music, and we hope that with us you can show your support by participating in them. Of course, for some, Supporting the arts is a major part of their life's mission and day-to-day -day activities, and it is totally appropriate that we be pers they be personally recognized for going above and beyond. Congratulations to this year's Champion of the Arts.
Well, it all began in 2001 when I answered an ad in the paper to produce a film series in Whistler. And we programmed 12 films and we actually programmed the opening film, Ski Bums, and we named the whole thing the Whistler Film Festival. We've always been inspired by Arts Whistler and Culture Days 2012, we thought, let's spearhead a three-day experiential program for guests. So we partnered with Mountain Galleries and the SLCC and put an event together. Uh, to be involved with the culture so we can learn and teach others, so, and that also teaches us. Culture Days 2012. We were inspired by Arts Whistler and in partnership with Mountain Galleries and the SLCC, we created a three-day experiential program, Arts and Culture. We're only limited by our imagination, so we're going to continue to weave in arts and culture into our programming to build community. And that's spelt with a capital U. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Yasmin from Special Events. On behalf of our entire team here at Fairmont Chateau Whistler, thank you so much for this incredible recognition. We would like to celebrate our fabulous partners and fellow nominees in this category, the Whistler Film Festival and the Squamish Lilwa Cultural Center. Over the years, we've been able to work together to create magic. The hotel strives to promote authentically local experiences to visitors. And I think we can all agree that Whistler and the Sea to Sky Corridor has an incredible pool of talent and rich culture that we can showcase. I truly believe that it takes a village to raise an arts and culture sector. 2020 has presented us with some unique um, opportunities. And I'm curious to see how we all work together to come up with creative solutions moving forward. But we can do it, so let's go. We all come to Whistler for different reasons. Many of us for the mountains, some for the lifestyle, and there's those who come here to escape the hustle and bustle. But what is it that makes so many people stay? We believe that one of the things that makes Whistler special is our amazing community. the network of businesses of all sizes and the people who power them. The faces we see every day. This is my Whistler. 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 This is my Whistler! 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 It's the spirit of Whistler which makes it really special. Hi everybody. Welcome to the 2020 edition of the Whistler Excellence Awards. I'm Dave Williamson, one of the principals with Cascade Environmental. And I'm Candace, another principal at Cascade Environmental. Cascade Environmental has been in business now for 30 years in this town. Um, we uh, have always supported the Whistler Chamber. We feel very strongly that uh, the Chamber is essential to helping small businesses prosper. Likewise, uh, we also are excited about being able to present the Sustainability in Action Award because sustainability and environmental issues are all part of the DNA of this, of this uh, community. And uh, so we think that uh, anything that promotes environmental protection and environmental consciousness is very important. All right, and the nominees are... As a husband and wife 
who are both vegan, we decided that we would open a bakery sourcing the highest quality ingredients possible while creating the least harm. Um, that was really important to us as well as sourcing organically and ethically. Yeah, so in 2014 we decided to move all our production back to Canada and also get away from using petroleum-based fibres in our products. For the Fairmont Chateau Whistler, it came down to wanting to be a part of the change, grabbing the reins and becoming leaders in the community for sustainability. Yeah, we started our own factory and this has been something really exciting for myself, our team and our customers. Oh man, there's so much opportunity in the future. Yeah, I mean in one sense we're lucky that we're in uh, right now the clothing industry which is a very dirty industry so there's just so much opportunity for us to be a leader in the realm of sustainability right now in, in that industry. Hi everyone. Um, can I say we were we were originally so excited to even be nominated for this award and um, just over the moon today knowing that 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 we've uh, that we've we've won uh, and that we're getting recognized for for all of the hard work that we're putting into um, the realm of, of sustainability, particularly in the uh, in in the outdoor apparel um, side of things. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for, for everyone that, that nominated us and voted for us. Um, uh, yeah, we're, we're so appreciative to be part of the Whistler community and um, yeah, excited for uh, growing with y'all in the future. <laughs> uh, okay, awesome. Thank you. Welcome to the Whistler Excellence Awards. My name is Curtis Neeser, Vice President of BD Living. BD is a proud supporter of the Whistler Excellence Awards because it's important to bring attention to the individuals that have helped shape the community by their dedication to their craft. Whistler is a municipality that is recognized around the world and many look to this committee for inspiration on how to solve some of society's most challenging problems. At BD, we celebrate and encourage individuals who are passionate about their craft and are dedicated to creating positive change for those around them. The Innovative Business of the Year Award is important because it recognizes a business that has challenged the status quo to develop an idea into a successful enterprise within the community. It goes without saying there are many risks and uncertainties when trying to create something new, but when done right, the rewards for the business are, and greater community are endless. The Whistler Excellence Awards are important to the community because it recognizes individuals who use their extraordinary skills and talents to improve the lives of Whistler residents. Whistler has always been regarded as one of the top destinations both nationally and internationally, but this designation is largely in part to the people who have continued to invest in the betterment of this community. And the final aside. Um, I think I really looked at my industry and spoke to as many people as I could to figure out what their challenges were and then tailored my approach to kind of make their problems go away wherever I could. Start a business quite young, which I'm really happy about doing because it gives you a lot of time to make a lot of mistakes. Another decision that I made quite um, in Whistler was how can I uh, make money so I can snowboard more? And my business was literally an answer to that question. How can I, how can I fund my snowboard lifestyle? Uh, I come from a fine dining background, um, farm to table, and I wanted to put that across into bakeries. Um, a lot of the time they just use product from all over the world and we want to support our farms here in Whistler and Pemberton and bring that to our menu. One of the things that's exciting in our business right now is we're expanding into different sports. So we're currently um, in the process of making some water sports training products for sports like wakeboarding and, and um, kite surfing. The future of snowboard addiction should be very bright. We operate with no debt, we're expanding into new sports and we see a, a solid growth path going forwards. Hi everybody. 
really stoked to accept this award on behalf of Snowboard Addiction, but there's a lot of people involved in this process to get the company to where it is today. So a lot of people to pay thanks to. Um, straight off the bat, my three main employees, uh, Jesse Townsend, Ollie Barber, and Mason Copeland, those guys are involved in all of the operations that we do in Snowboard Addiction. So a huge shout out to those guys. You can't do this by yourself. But in addition to that, there's hundreds of people who've been involved over the years, employees, um, snowboard coaches, friends and family, customers, thousands of customers all around the world. My wife, Bex, my two kids, they've even been in some of the videos. So, you know, a lot of people have made up the success of where we're at today and where we're gonna be going in the future. So just huge, huge shout out to everyone involved and I'm stoked to win this award. All right, thank you very much. Oh, we're halfway through, just a few more winners to go. Grab yourself something to eat. Mm. Hydrate with some water. Congratulations to all the winners. I can't wait to see the rest of you show up and shine, especially during this year. It's a tough one, but we got this. And you know who's got this? The next few winners, they got it too. I'll see you at the end. I'm gonna go for a swim. Hi Whistler, welcome to my backyard. Teresa Walterhouse here from BDO. I've been a partner at BDO for almost 20 years now. BDO is a national accounting firm offering accounting, assurance, tax and advisory services to our clients. For several years, we have been a proud sponsor of the Chamber Business Person of the Year Award and we are pleased once again to honour and celebrate our community leaders. Our team at BDO has been privileged to work with and learn from many of these talented, dedicated and passionate entrepreneurs. Now more than ever, I think we can all agree, we need to take the time as a community to celebrate some of our successful and resilient leaders. So please join me in congratulating this year's finalists, who are... It was just a natural flow because I met my husband, Mickey, so I just follow my heart. Giving up my job in government that was super cozy and diving into opening up the first restaurant when I had no experience and then deciding to franchise after that. So after 20 years plus of, of consulting businesses for other businesses, I decided to go out by myself and uh, work with businesses that I felt I could have the biggest impact with and within the community that I wanted to work with. At the moment, we look forward to rebuilding and grow from running. It's going to be very tough, but we will survive. It is huge honor to accept this award. Huge thank you to all my staff at Sushi Village for their hard work and dedication. Also, thank you to my friends and family for their support for all those years. Without your help, I couldn't do this. Love you all and let's celebrate with Saki. Good evening. The Hotel Association of Whistler is delighted to partner with the Whistler Chamber of Commerce to present the Above and Beyond Award for an amazing group of nominees that were put forward. A Whistler Hotel Association feels that it is its responsibility to be part of the greater community and recognize the strengths and accomplishments of the amazing individuals, businesses and uh, uh, the strengths of the people in our community. In line with that, we are very thankful for the opportunity and today I'm happy to announce that the nominees are
decision I ever made was coming to Whistler in 2001, um, just realigning with my roots in passions in hospitality and pursuing a job at the iconic and legendary Longhorn Saloon while surrounding myself with incredibly passionate, energetic and vibrant humans that loved Whistler as much as I did. I started the blog to get avalanche and weather information out to recreationists in the backcountry. Well, probably it goes back to high school. I decided I wanted to be in the service industry. And then I went off to hotel school. Hotel school led me to Whistler. When I, after a 24 year career with Hyatt, I came to Whistler Blackcomb as, as a part of the senior management team here. So that's what brought me here. It's what I've enjoyed doing. I'm still service, servicing people all the time and that's what I enjoy doing. Well, right now, I think dealing with the COVID-19 situation and bringing the over-tourism in the picture, uh, how we can maybe make this opportunity into something that's better for our community to balance off the, the, re the reality of living here in a resort town, but doing it in a comfortable way. Well, one day, I hope to be traveling again, but in the meantime, and when I'm not traveling, I will be engaged in the community with volunteerism. I work with the Whistler Blackcomb Foundation and the Whistler Learning Center. Those are important to me, and I will continue to be available anytime something else comes up. Wow, this is a great honor, and I really appreciate the recognition. For starters, I'd like to shout out a huge thank you to those that nominated me and supported the whole notion that I should be considered. Your confidence is greatly appreciated. I would also like to acknowledge the other nominees for this award and the two finalists, Katrina and Wayne. Our community is better for your numerous and varied contributions. We're all very fortunate to live, work, and play in Whistler. The community has always displayed an open and inviting culture to participate. The range of above and beyond activities of those nominated demonstrates what can be done if you just step up. I feel very fortunate to be recognized with this special award. Thank you very much. Also, thank you to the Whistler Chamber for undertaking this annual event and finding a way to work around the COVID-19 challenges. The celebration of success is an important part of the Whistler culture. And finally, thanks to Blue Shore Financial for stepping up as the presenting sponsor and the other lead organizations that contribute to and making this a possibility. It's truly a team effort. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Hi, I'm Sholto Shaw. I'm a lawyer with Racing Company. Our racing company is the biggest law firm in the Sea to Sky Corridor. We've got about 15 lawyers and 40 staff. And since we were started in 1973, volunteerism and community spirit has been a huge part of Racing Company. Um, we're ex really excited to sponsor the Whistler Excellence Awards this year and the Citizen of the Year Award, um, especially this year because of COVID-19 and how much the community groups are struggling for support and a lot of the volunteers aren't able to get out as much as they would in the community due to, due to um, social distancing and a lot of the community groups are, are struggling to find funding so we thought that this year it was even more important than ever to get that message out and to hope that more people get involved in, in volunteering in the community um, to help out those less advantaged people and to just help make the community a better place to live. And on that note, I'd like to announce the finalists for this year's Citizen of the Year Award are... Uh, probably less a decision than more uh, realization that I wanted to be a real integral part of the community and help others. Well, I'd say that I said yes to almost every opportunity that came my way, not without help from my mom and the other people around me that I really admire and look up to. Soccer was the perfect thing for my energetic five-year-old son so I could run around and get the jibbers out of him. Right now, weird times, the COVID times, I think the philanthropy being exposed in the community has been pretty awesome. And the fact that everybody's really, truly come together uh, in Whistler to help each other through these difficult times. 
I see in the future this community being stronger, more resilient as we come out of COVID times and having learned how we can be stronger together. Wow, citizen of the year. Certainly not an award I wake up in the morning looking to achieve, but uh, the recognition is amazing. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much to the community of Whistler and the Chamber for putting these awards on and, um, and for the recognition you've given myself and my fellow nominees. Um, I honestly share this with them. There's so many well-deserving people in this community. But it is an honor to be part of this community for over 20 years and uh, to be able to give back in so many different ways, whether that's on communities of council, volunteering for youth sport, um, various other task forces and things I've been on over the years, uh, boards. Um, it's amazing, but uh, I wouldn't be able to do it without the support of my wife Wendy and my son Ryan. So a big love filled thank you to them and uh, lots of love out to you, Whistler. Thanks very much for this opportunity, for the recognition, and uh, it's a great honor. We'll see you out there. Hey! I don't know about you, but it's time for bed. So on behalf of the Whistler Chamber of Commerce and our presenting partner, Blue Shore Financial, thanks for giving me that mortgage, guys. Love it. And our community partners like the Community Foundation of Whistler and AWARE and Arts Whistler, and everybody, congratulations on winning tonight. And to all the nominees, we're all winners. Heck, if you got through 2020, you're a winner. If you're listening to this without a mask on, oh, the comfort of your home and your own Wi-Fi or your neighbor's Wi-Fi, you figured that out. We can steal each other's Wi-Fi now. We have so much time for technology knowledge, but right now it's time for bed. So before I go, a couple notes. The Whistler Real Estate Company, thank you. Racing Company, thank you. BD Living, thank you. BDO, thank you. Reactive Designs, who made all of us look good tonight. BDO, I already said you, but let's just say you again. Whistler Black Home, Cascade Environmental Resource Group, the Hotel Association of Whistler, because you're always comfy, and the Municipality, Resort Municipality of Whistler. Thank you, people out there. I hope you had a good night. Congratulations to all the winners. Congratulations to everybody who volunteered to make tonight happen. Go have yourself a warm cup of milk and let's all go to bed and dream about 2021 when we're together at the Fairmont and we're all partying and dancing and drinking Gibbons Lager and it was a really blower year. Lots of snow and I reserved my time seven days ahead and it was so... Oh, oh, oh. Night night. Bye bye guys. Happy 2020! Night-night!